Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Supersonic by Powfly Campling. So we have normal 6x6 Sudoku rules. That means in every row, every column, and every 2x3 box, we are placing the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. We also have our standard arrows in our grid. So digits on an arrow sum to the value in the circle. So let's do a simple one here. Uh, if this was 2, 3, that sums to 5, you'd put a 5 in the circle. Uh, digits can repeat on a circle as long as Sudoku rules allow it, so this would be perfectly legal. 1 plus 1 is 2. All right, additionally, we have a parity mirror. So this blue line is what we're mirroring, mirroring across, this diagonal. So this cell here, for example, let's say this was odd, like a 3. Then what we do is we mirror that across that diagonal. We get to this cell here. You can see that we sort of move across the diagonal to here. And this also needs to be odd. So it could be, for example, a 5. It could also be a 3. It could be a 5. And so we could do like two, three, five. This this arrow would be correct. This would be correct. But this parity mirror would be wrong. So that is incorrect. So anyway, um, that's it. Those are the rules. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. All right, actually, um, my example kind of revealed something that I, I hadn't realized this until I did the example. But um, these two digits are the same parity, but they're either both even or both odd. Regardless of whether they're both even or both odd, they will add to an even number, because even plus even is even, odd plus odd is also even. Um, you can think of odd numbers as switching the parity when you add an odd number, and even numbers preserve the parity. Uh, that's how I like to think about it. So these are the same parity because of the parity mirror. We don't know which is which, but that does mean that this is even. So we can make, I use blue for even and orange for odd. Um, so we can mirror that, and that's gonna be even as well. Um, do we have anything else like that? Well, we know that these two are the same parity, but this, we don't know if it's even or odd. So, oh, but it's the same as this one, but they, they're the same regardless because even numbers preserve parity. So the parity mirror doesn't even have to tell us these are the same. That's just going to happen. These are the same parity. There we go. Because these are the same parity, this has to be even to preserve the, the parity when we add it to this cell to get this one. Um, but that doesn't reflect anywhere. Let's see. Oh, we have a digit right away, which I should have realized. Um, this, the minimum that you can put in these cells is one, two, three. One plus two plus three is six, so we fill a six here. Now, there's a few things we can do. First, the six is even. That goes there. That's a two. And then these are both odd. So we would have known this was a one, three, even if this didn't tell us, because these had to be the same parity. But anyway, that's that's all forced. We have the six and the two. Um, these are the same parity, so this has to be even to preserve that. Um, and it's not a 6, and it's not a 2, so it has to be a 4, which means this is 5 or 6, which means this is 1 or 2. Um, both of those work. This is the other 5, 6. Ah, and it's not 6. There we go. That should have been obvious. That's 5, that's 6. So that's even, that's odd. This is even, and it's a 2. We have all of our evens for this column. That's the 6, so these two are odd. We need an odd here in order to add to an odd number, because you can't make two evens add to an odd number. So that's all the odds for this column, which means this is even and it's a four. Um, this is not a one. I think it could be a three. So this is three or five. Um, these are odd just to finish off the box. This we can parity. Let's parity mirror all these things we just got, actually. Uh, this four parodies to here. This this odd doesn't, this odd parodies to here, this six we got, this three five goes here. Okay. So we know these are from these are either a one or a three added to a two. Uh so it's either two three or one two. Yeah. We know the two is involved. There's a four in here somewhere. These are one three five. I'm not sure I want to mark that. Um, oh, this is e this is a 2. It ended up being 1 plus 1 is 2. Interesting. I didn't think that would be true, but that's fun. Um, so this is 4 or 6 only. So these are a 3-5 pair, which means the 1 in this column goes here. That's a 3. This is 1 plus 2 is 3. That makes that 5 and 3. Nice. Interesting feedback loop there. This is 4 or 5 pair. Okay. 
oh, we could have realized this at the start. These can't both be even because the minimum even numbers put to put here are two plus four. That's already six. So these are odd and that's even. Um, these have to be one, three, or they'd, they'd blow out the sum. That's one and three. That adds to four. This has to be a two. Wait, why did I say this was even? I think I made a mistake saying that was even. Um, but we actually we actually know now that this is this can only be a two because it can't be a one and three. It can't be a three. So yeah, if it's not a so let's just fill this triple here. This triple is two three um, six. <laughs> so it's pretty obvious that it's not a six. So it is a two. I don't know why I said it had to be even. Uh, I think that was just a mistake, but it was it would have been a lucky mistake. So luckily I found that. Um, that does add to six. That's three and six. Um, if we're going to use an even number to add to six, we have to use another even number. It's going to be a two four pair. It gives us all of these digits, which we can color. And we can parity mirror all this stuff, although it may not be necessary at this point. But let's do it. This one parodies here. These mirror here. These are all even. This is even. This is odd. OK. There we go. Well, coloring's done. That's a five. That's a three. That's a five. That's a one. That's a five. That's a four. And that's a six. Nice. All right. So yeah. And, uh, let's see. When is this puzzle releasing? I, I pre-record these. Um, this puzzle is releasing maybe day of SudokuCon. So definitely check out SudokuCon live stream. Though it may have been yesterday. I'm trying to think. Anyway, I don't know what day this comes out. I think this comes out Sunday. So you might, depending on the time, you may be able to still catch the SudokuCon live, the end of it. Um, but yeah, go, go check if that's still live. Uh, but SudokuCon is happening on uh, in 2025. I forget the exact date. I think it's April 5th, 2025, so that it's 4 or 5, at least for Americans. Um, which is fun because 45 is a special Sudoku number because it's the sum of one through nine. But anyway, um, the live, the first fundraising live stream for SudokuCon either is happening right now as you watch this video or already happened um, uh, to try to fundraise because there's funds needed to get get the ball rolling to get SudokuCon actually going. You know, we need a venue, we need lawyers, we need all this other stuff. So um, we may need to pay people to appear, that kind of thing. So. Um, need fundraising for that. So definitely uh, look into that if you're interested. And of course, if you enjoyed this content, why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.